IFP leader Mangasutu Butelezi announced to Parliament yesterday he confirmed that his MP Mario Ambrosini had indeed taken his life after a struggle with cancer and that's got everybody in the country talking about the issue of assisted dying. Now I'm joined on the line by Dignity SA's Helena Dolmi to speak more about it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me and greetings to your viewers. Now, as I said, uh, it really has got the entire country speaking about assisted dying. But why don't you just explain to us what assisted dying is? Mm. So, assisted dying means that you are being assisted to die. So, there is the help of another person. And in countries where this is legal, you can apply that you are terminally ill and that you have no prospect of remission and it's often referred to as a mercy killing and you get a prescription for lethal drugs and either you can assist it means that you would ask someone else to inject the lethal drugs into your veins. Physician assisted suicide is that your doctor would do it for you. But that's what assisted dying is. Mario Ambrosini did not have assisted suicide. He took his own life because in this country at the moment, assisted dying is illegal. Right. Now, of course, Dignity SA um, are among groups leading the call for assisted dying to be made legal in South Africa. Can you speak us through why you believe this is important? So I think it's important because it raises the question of what it means to be human and what it means to enjoy a certain quality of life. You may know that my own husband, Joe Slovo, died, it's almost 20 years ago, of multiple myeloma. And the last few weeks were interminable. And when I read uh, Dr. Mangasuti Butelezi's tribute to Ambrosini in Parliament yesterday, he describes, he says that at the end of Ambrosini's life, he couldn't eat, he was on an oxygen machine, and he was in great pain. And some people choose then to go the route of what's called palliative sedation, that you get injected with morphine, uh, doses of morphine which dull the pain, and you're no longer eating, you're no longer drinking, and after a few days it's very likely that you'll pass away. But you will pass away in a state of unconsciousness. And one of the things that Dr. Ambrosini valued was his consciousness. In Parliament, when he was uh, introducing the legislation around cannabis, the proposed change to medical innovation, he said he didn't want to be drugged with morphine, that he wanted to be fully present. And that for him constituted quality of life and his own dignity. In fact, we were all quite surprised to hear Mr. Butelezi say that this isn't a political issue and it wasn't an issue for the IFP, but it was a personal matter between um, MP Ambrosini and his family. And at the end of the day, this is what Dignity SA believes too. That's true. And it is terrible that people should feel as though they have to commit their own suicide. And I've met people who are in great pain and would like to die. And they are afraid of committing suicide because they're frightened of failing. So uh, Craig Schoonerfearful, uh, Marian Tan wrote the book on the right to die. And right was R-I-G-H-T rather than a right of passage. But he tried a suicide which failed. And a lot of people are extremely afraid that they will fail and that will be traumatic for them and their loved ones. And, and so they continue to suffer. And so that's why Dignity SA supports assisted suicide that has the medical prescription and no violence. 